Hey, welcome guys, and today I'm going to do my first video game review. I've wanted to do video game reviews, and now I'm doing it because I have so many games, and I love pretty much all of them. So I don't, and I've, I've never had a chance to um, review them. Now I've got my channel, where I can and do what I want it's my channel. So yeah, today we are reviewing the all-time classic. Halo Combat Evolved, as you can see by the title. And so yeah, um do you heard more well, disclaimer, I guess. Um this review is based on opinion, not fact. Obviously. So yeah, if you guys have a different opinion, let me know in the comments or just keep it yourselves. Either way I am um, enjoy. The story sets around a character called John Wall Seven, who is a survivor member of the Reach Invasion by the Covenant. You wake up in cryogenic sleep in a massive ship called the Pillar of Autumn. You are greeted by Captain Captain Keys, and are instructed to evacuate the ship upon Covenant forces attacking you. Um, you escape the ship. And Pen of Autumn makes a space jump, I think. A sp yeah, a space jump to distract the Covenant from Earth so you can escape. Your pod and a bunch of other pods from Pen of Autumn crash land to this massive ring called Halo. When you crash land, you and an AI called Cortana are the only survivors. You, are, you discover that. The planet you landed on is called Halo, and it is a massive ring is at the planet, and it's got Earth-like environments like trees, landscapes, and at atmosphere. So, when you your mission is to set out and destroy Covenant forces on Halo and try and find out a way to stop the war, basically. After fighting through the new enemies called the Flood and meeting a new friendly companion called Free for Free Guilty Spark, you find out the, uh, the Halo is a covenant weapon and it is aimed to destroy Earth. So you set out to destroy it, but Free for Free Guilty Spark, who has been on the planet for millions of years, doesn't want his his ring destroyed. So he so he sets out to kill you before to stop you before you can destroy it. After finding that Captain Keys has been turned into one of Flood, you take his neural implants from his brain and set out to find the Pill of Autumn which has crash landed onto Halo to stop Free for Free Guilty Spark from taking any information that the ship has and set it self-destruct. You fight your way through the ship fighting Flood, Covenant and flying very robots the Free for Free has programmed to attack you that you eventually set a self-destruct manually um, and escape on the Warhawk on a brilliant chase um, well not be chase, it's a brilliant escape through the Pillar of Autumn to the ship so you can shoot up in space After narrowly escaping the ship's blast, destroying Halo with it you proclaim to Cartana that it, this is only the beginning and the game ends Show Free for Free Guild Spark Fly into Space Alive. So, hinting obviously a sequel. So, yeah. Story, in my opinion, is brilliant. It's very engaging. It keeps you adrenaline pumped and it keeps going to the end. And you still think, like, you still want to, like, oh, I want more. I want to play more Halo. And, <coughs> yeah. It's a brilliant story in my mind, and yeah, next, next subject. Your character is called John Mormon 7 and you are a surviving Spartan member from the Reach Invasion by the Covenant. You wake up from cryogenic sleep aboard a ship called the Pillar of Autumn, where you are meted, greeted by the captain of the ship. Your greetings soon cut short when the Covenant attack and you are forced to escape. When your escape will crash lands on the mysterious ring called Halo, you are forced to s search for surviving members of the ship while destroying Covenant forces on the way. You meet new enemies 
when you meet new allies and you also discover secrets about the main that will be a huge plot twist halfway during the story. My opinion of the story is it's brilliant, I love it and it's definitely one of the most engaging stories in the game. So the gameplay in Halo is brilliant. Just to start um from I'm gonna go over level design first and level design is varied, it is between from forest, grassy, like plains, yeah, to snowy mountains to covenant ships. It's got plenty and it's really big too. Long levels they last pretty about how would you it's about half half an hour to an hour each level. So yeah. Unless you run for it about half an hour. But yeah it's really last really long is it's not repetitive at all. So yeah that's that's level design. Um, I didn't find any control issues in um, the game. The, the driving mechanism is fine with the left and right stick controls, and the combat's combat fine. Combat system, which the shooting and everything. Uh, just, there weren't any bugs. Uh, no, no actual glitches. The game doesn't freeze, and you don't get stuck anywhere. Or I don't really go jumping around trying to hack the level or something, but um, just playing it normally, I didn't find any bugs, so yeah, that's control issues and bugs. So yeah, um, playability is, as I said in um, game issues, the top notch driving, shooting, anything, it's brilliant, and as it, it did revolutionise first person shoot, and it shows why it did, because it's just top notch, top, top notch um, gameplay. And um, the f I had a lot of fun playing it, and there was great levels, all of them amazing, and yeah, so the fun fact is the peak, because I had so much fun with it. And so yeah, um, that was gameplay, on to the next topic. Oh god, yes, the music, ah, oh, the music. This is one of my favourite things about the Halo franchise altogether. The music is brilliant. It is so... It's just amazing. And as you can see, because I play, put the music in this view, you should just search it up. Halo theme song. Any of the theme songs. It is... Oh, it's perfect. The or orchestra. The, the... Everything. It's just, I don't like that kind of music. But usually when you put them in game uh, theme songs, they just match and it, it is brilliant. It's probably one of the best pieces of music I've ever, I've ever heard in any game ever. So yeah, the Halo theme song and all, it's, all the music in the game was composed by Martin O'Donnell, who is a fantastic, I love him, thanks to the Halo franchise, thanks to this game. He is brilliant. He is so talented as it shows. And oh, especially when I get to the second game, oh, I have to like, but if I meet this guy in real life, I just, oh. <laughs> as you can see, I really love music. He is brilliant. And as I said, it's a masterpiece. One of the best pieces of music any game ever. And so yeah, the music, top notch, to peak, top notch music, definitely top notch. So yeah, next topic.